family, it's the Mobile Home Diva, and in today's video, we are going to be defining a land home package. I've had several family members reach out to me asking me individually what exactly is a land home package. So I have decided to go ahead and help you define exactly what a land home package is and then tell you the five steps to making a land home package a reality. So before we get into this video, if you're not a current subscriber, go ahead and hit the subscribe button below and the notification bell so you're the first to know every time I upload a video. Thank you so much. And now let's get into the video. Okay, so first we want to define what a land home package is. A land home package is when a person wants to purchase a modular or manufactured home and they want to purchase a piece of property in the same deal. It's not necessarily that they're both sold by the same company or that they're sold um at the same location however you are able to purchase property and a home to put the property on and have one closing and one mortgage so i'm going to tell you how you can do that so let me first start by saying that i'm not a professional by any means I happen to live in a mobile home, my husband and I. We recently purchased this mobile home um, in August of 2019. It is currently April of 2020. So just shy of six months, six or seven months have we been in this home. So the process is fairly new for us. And so I am using my experience to help you to see what you can do if this is your dream to make that dream a reality. Please don't think I'm a professional. This video is not sponsored in any way. I make these videos because I am a YouTuber at heart and when I was seeking to purchase a manufactured home, I couldn't find any videos that were helpful. So I decided to create videos on my own. Again, I am not a professional. And so I always encourage you to do your own research. And I also encourage you to reach out while doing this research and ask your questions to the professionals, okay? So now with that being said, let's get into step one. to purchasing a land home package. Step one for us was um, fairly simple. We needed to know how much we could afford or how much we could get approved for to make the land home package a reality. So step one for us was identifying a dealer that we wanted to do business with we decided on Clayton Homes. We went into the Clayton Homes location. We viewed homes, got an idea of what we liked. We filled out an application. And a few weeks later, we got approval. Now some things, if you know my past history, um, then you know that we had a few hiccups. If you haven't, uh, view my video story time. I'll link it in the iCard above. But bottom line was we had to apply and get an approval so we knew how much we were qualified for for the land and for the property. One of the things that you're asked during the application process is if you're interested in a land home uh, package. We said yes. And so when we gained approval, we knew how much money was allotted for the home, 
and how much money was allotted for the land. From there, we were able to, to identify the home that we wanted and start looking for properties. So all of that made up step one, identifying the buyer or the mobile home dealer that we wanted to do business with. What that meant for us may be different for you. Maybe you want to find the particular home that you're interested in versus the dealer. Um, we were pretty open. Um, we were open to a single wide or a double wide. We knew that we wanted three bedroom, two bath. Um, it's just my husband and I, so we were open and we had a few different homes in mind. Um, our favorite was the anniversary, the single wide, and then we had quite a few favorites in the double wide. We didn't get either one of them, but that's another video. So we identified who we wanted to do business with. We went in, viewed some homes, filled out an application. It took about two weeks for the approval. And when the approval came back, we knew how much was allotted for the home and how much was allotted for the land. Real important because in step two, you're going to see our process for finding land. All right, step one complete. Let's move on to step two. All right, step two to making a land home package. Once you've identified how much you can put into the home and into the property, step two is finding the property. Now, for everyone, this process won't be the same. Maybe you have a family member who has property that you can purchase or a friend that has property you can purchase. If that's the case, then it'll be a little simpler because you already have identified the property that you want to buy. For us, we had not, and we had no idea where to look, but we did know the area that we wanted to be in. We knew we wanted to be in South Atlanta, and we knew that I knew that I wanted to be as close to my mom as I could be. So I immediately began searching sites like realtor.com and Zulily. Um, sites that would help me to find land that a mobile home could be placed on. Once we identified property and settled on a property that we wanted, we contacted the builder and the bank, um, told them what we were looking at. Um, they contacted the zoning uh, department in our area and got the requirements for the manufactured home, the specific requirement that the house that we were interested in would be able to sit on this property. And so we put our realtor in touch with the seller of the mobile home and the bank. So that's step two. Identify, find and identify the property that you want to purchase. Um, inside of that step, we actually um, got the zoning requirements, found out that the home that we were interested in could sit on the property, and we put in a um, offer on the property. So all of that encompassed step two. So let's do a recap. Step one, we identified um, the home builder that we wanted to go with. We applied and got approved so that we would know how much we qualified for for the home and for the land. That was step one. Step two, we found land, got approval from the loan company and the seller of the home um, through the zoning committee to put a house of this size on the land. We put in an offer on the land. So that, that's step one and two. Now it's time to go to step So that brings us to step three. Now, 
While the majority of the responsibility in step three falls on the shoulders of somebody else, you also have a responsibility here in this step. In step three, all of the footwork is done to bring you to closing. So your, the bank or loan company um, that is um, investing the money to get you this deal is working behind the scenes to get all of the paperwork together. They're working with um, the home builder's attorney. They're working with the land seller's attorney and they're getting all the paperwork ready. But you also have a responsibility here because you're gonna have to verify your income, you're gonna have to verify your job, you're going, they're gonna establish the percentage rate of your loan and that will determine how much of a down payment that you had to put down. For instance, if you are financed at a 5% interest rate and your home, your loan is $100,000, then you have to put $5,000 down. Or if it's 10%, then you'll have to put 10% down. Or if it's 2.5%, then you'll have to put $2,500 um, down. It just really depends on the interest rate if you um, have to put a down payment. So all of that will be established. If you have to go, if you have to borrow the money for the down payment, totally fine. But you still have to show proof where you got the down payment from. If you got it out of 401k, if you got it out of your savings, you have to show proof. Now, what kind of proof, you may ask? Well, if you say you got it out of 401k, um, I borrowed money out of my 401k for half of our down payment. Uh, when I borrowed the money, they sent a receipt showing that they withdrew $6,000 for a down payment on my mortgage. That was in a receipt. So I screenshot that receipt and sent that in the package of information that we had to come up with over to the loan company. Some of the other things that we had to show proof was our last two years W-2s. Um, we had to make a copy of our driver's license, make a copy of uh, W-2s, driver's license, 401k information, bank statement showing that the 401k was deposited into my account, bank statement showing that my husband had $6,000 in his account, in his savings account, just proof. So all of this, all of these things have to be done in step three. It's a lot of footwork. What that looks like for you will be um, disclosed to you by the loan company, but just be prepared that even though a, a great deal of all of the things are being done behind the scenes, you will have some things to gather for step three. The next to the last step is step four. Step four um, is also a lot of footwork um, and you'll play a part in this um, like you did in step three. So as I stated with step three, and let's do a recap. Step one was identifying the builder that you want to purchase a home from, filling out an application and getting approval so you know how much money you have to work with in purchasing the home and purchasing the land. Step two was identifying the land that you want to purchase and making an offer on it. You'll work with your bank and you'll work with the realtor and the seller of the home to put all of them in communication with one another so that the process can start and you can go ahead and make an offer. Step three is footwork. So this is where your bank uh, or loan company Realtor and uh, seller of the, there, there's several sellers, seller of the property, seller of the uh, manufactured home. But in this process, the realtor, realtor's attorney, seller of the home, their attorney, and the bank is working together behind the scenes 
to ensure that all of the paperwork is complete. In this part of the process, you're also gathering W-2 information, pay stub information, if applicable, um, uh, proof of your down payment, you'll find out how much your down payment, all of that stuff, so that's footwork. But step four is also footwork, but it's a more physical fit footwork. In step four, and it's happening at the same time as step three, so they're running together. Step four is the inspector goes out to the land, he confirms that the land is in fact worth um, what it's being sold for. You have to be cleared through that part of the contract or offer process with the land for the bank to say, okay, this is property that we're gonna go after. So they need the inspection to be done. Also, once the inspection is done, the bank will okay the seller of the mobile homes contractor, and this is our story, to go out to the property and assess um, where the home is gonna go, um, determine um, where septic tanks will go in, and all of those things. When the inspector came, but the bank let us know immediately that they had been out and we had passed inspection. So all of those things took place in step four and brought us closer to our loan being ready for closing. So that's step four, you guys. Now let's move to st step four. That's, now let's move to step five. So now we move on to step five. Step five is the happiest time of your life, you guys. It's the best part of the deal. It's the day that this home and this property finally feel like yours. It's the day that you sign on the dotted line and they hand over all of the paperwork proving that this is your investment. This is the envelope that our um, loan information came in. And this is the stack of papers. Hope you can really see it. But this is the stack of papers that we had to sign on that day. So much stuff in here. Um, but at the end of this stack, we got a copy of everything we signed and it became a reality at closing. Every single one of these papers has to be signed. It's a long process. Every single thing is going to be explained to you. Um, you have the land, something from the Land Title Association, the closing disclosure, the port, um, loan free choice acknowledgement, Georgia acknowledgement of receipt, construction loan interest payment agreement, escrow letter, and it goes on and on and on. I hope that. Um, closing is also the, t the time when you bring the down payment. Closing is the time that all your questions get answered. Closing is the official day that this house becomes yours. Something fell out. Oh, it's the receipt from the cashier's check that we got. This was the happiest journey of our lives um, to date. And we were so excited to be a part of it. Um, we, ho I hope that this information um, is useful to you in some way. Again, I'm not a professional by any means, but I've been through the process. And so everything I explained was the process and how it went for us. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Comment below if there's something that I missed or something that you still have a question about. I'm more than happy to either answer your question in the comments, respond to your email, or I'll make a video so we can give it to the broader audience. Hope you enjoyed all of this information and thank you so much for watching.